My wife had been looking for a small bathroom cabinet, so I said, I'll build you one. Another issue, this was for a small space. And in the words of you two, she still hasn't found what she's looking for. I had this gnarly cupped white oak board that I couldn't bear to part with or turn it into firewood as I had chainsaw milled it from our tree that had died seven years earlier. And I wondered, would it be enough wood for the project? I used the jigsaw to cut down the boards to their rough sizes. Turns out this is the perfect tool for the job. I trimmed the wood at the table saw and tried to save as much of it as I could. Cutting wood this badly cupped at the table saw was perhaps not the best of ideas. I should have used a bandsaw. I saved the best bits for the top. This is what I had left when the wood was all trimmed. After joining or jointing the edges, I glued the boards together. Put clamps on them and left them overnight to dry. Meanwhile, I used the table and bandsaw to resaw 5 8 inch blanks for the side panels. After I squared up the legs, I put a 4 inch taper on the inside corners of the legs. I went with the Domino XL 700 joiner to do the joinery, as this would speed up the many joints that had to be made. Reaching out to a quarter inch dado stack to make the rails and styles that were gonna hold the panels on the cabinet. Trim the side panels to size on the table saw using the cross cut sled. Then cut out the notches for the base. Using a hand plane, I smoothed off one side and ran the other side through the planer. Squared up the edges on the cross-cut sled. Set the table saw to a 20 degree angle to create an under bevel on the top. I sanded all the pieces to 180 grit. I glued the frame together. marked for the hinges on the cabinet. And transferred those marks to the door.
after cutting the hinge recesses, I used a rabbiting bit on the shaper to cut out the slots for the door panel. I squared up the corners with a chisel. And sized up the door panel to fit. Well, what do you know? Looking good. I fitted some drill runners. Then I glued up the draw sides using tape as a clamp. I had a scrap piece of walnut. Sliced off two pieces. I used a roll of tape to mark ovals on the pieces. Stuck them together with tape and super glue. Trimmed off the edges round with a coping saw. I used the orbital sander to shape the handles. I made some dowels so I could attach the handles to the door and drawer. There was a lot of dust. For the finish, I decided to use Rubio Monocoat Cotton White. It's an easy to apply two part finish. You simply wipe it on, let it soak in for a little bit, and then wipe it all off. The crucial step being wipe it all off. I made a door catch. Used Starbond super glue. I glued a rare earth magnet to the catch. I 
trimmed it on the bandsaw to the shape that I needed. A little light sanding. And attached it with some more CA glue. I added the last rare earth magnet to complete the catch with more CA glue. And of course I had to test it again and again and again. Who doesn't? Final step was attaching the top to the base. I measured and pre-drilled holes Here's the finished result. Thanks for watching. See you later.